Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Welcome, everyone! I'm Sauberhaft, as usual, your obedient servant playing Final Fantasy XIII on my own channel. A and Z, the entire alphabet of gaming, everything being straightforward, as usual. I have already done everything to finish off the Crystarium, so I'm not going to falter. I'm not going to hesitate any longer before engaging in a battle with a first scale beast. You could avoid the confrontation, but at the same time, not really the need to do that. And we go for Tide Turner right away. We gotta uh, poison the thing as fast as we can. Come on, poison it! Yeah, it did poison it. Now the deep protect. Now that we have the time to do this. And the D shell. Debuff him as efficiently as you can. Now start slashing and burning. Not really a big deal because while the beast is in the carapace, it will endure even the most terrible of the attacks. Yeah, what have we learned so far? Employs powerful lightning-based attacks. We don't really have any protection. Physical and magic attacks low when staggered. Ah, resistance is low when staggered. Yeah, chain bonus accumulates slowly. We'll see about that. Okay, another round. There will be another round. And return to Slash and Burn. Drill casting. Everything is going to be okay. Shocking breath. Okay, War and Peace. Oh yeah. Vanille is worried for you. Well, have you been even doing anything during this? Okay, one more attack, she'll do it. Okay, slash and burn. Let the beast say it's lost. I'm guessing it's going to be okay now that we have, now that we have got the drop on the beast. Debuffs are on. Everything is going good. But it will... Recharge the carapace now. Well, I'm guessing it will die of poison before we do... Well, be before it does anything bad. We go for dual casting. And go for War and Peace for the Wear and Tear. Get some of the cures. And let's finish off the beast now. Yeah, that's good. It was nice to have the beast poisoned during this whole battle, but... Yeah, you might see it took some time to take the beast down, so... Choose as you will. If you're not up to any lengthy games, so why even engage in these battles? I don't think you will be that pleased with the outcomes. Okay, attack. Now, Tide Turner right away. Start with po poison, because as soon as the beast is poisoned... Okay. Take your time poisoning the beast. Take your time poisoning it. And then, basically, it's doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Now, deep protect and the shell. And slash and burn if you manage to land a couple of strikes. I actually like the way Saz has put the magic on us already, so we don't really think too much about being under attack. Now it's going to be a lot faster because, yeah. He's got immune to cold and earth. I, I, I told you I might test some quake, but that will not achieve anything, because that beast has immunity to any Earth-based attacks. Okay. 
Get him some more. It start to it starts to recover quickly, so let's keep that stagger up. Yeah, tune on to cure. And then dual casting. I'm guessing there will be only one round of dual casting, so. Okay, Saz, just do something about it. I'm guessing that did it. Let's finish the job. It forces us to actually change paradigms quite often because... Because we need to stagger the guy. And I don't want to lose the opportunity. Okay, that's, that's being done. We can finish the guy down. See, now that all the debuffs are on... Actually, don't neglect those debuffs. That's that's the gist. Sometimes it might be tough. Sometimes it might be really strange, like trying to put those debuffs on and they, they won't function. It might agitate you against trying to land any debuffs on the opponents, but don't follow this pattern. Don't think it is so. It is always beneficial to keep the debuffs up and running. This will turn the, the tide of the battle really soon. Especially if Saz has the buffing spells. Oh yeah, that's my sweet opportunity, I cannot miss it. I'm going to talk on the way. Yep. Tapped it. And prepare for the tide turner right away. So yeah, this battle will be approximately 1.5 times as long if you neglect the debuffs. Or even twice as long. I think. So, try putting the debuffs of e on uh, any top opponent you might come across. Because that's how it is done. Doesn't really matter. Always try to do that. Always. Saz, you're being too slow. Okay, I'm gonna undermine. No. Better use the Tide Turner. Okay, keep it, keep it poisoned. Okay, Saz, will you just uh, use a little bit of synergies? Oh man, I'm dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> You see, once you... Once you... Don't pay attention... It is really dangerous, but... Oh, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm not doing anything bad against you. Just turn away. Actually, I, I will show you guys what happens if you try to take on this guy without the preemptive strike. It's also a nice thing to do. You may try... Poisoning this guy. And this is what will happen. Go ahead of poison. I'm trying my best. But is that achieving anything? No. Yeah, it it pretty much achieves nothing. I want those uh, I want those spells cast on me as fast as I can unfortunately Saz won't place any special okay I I, I don't see any oh yeah I, I did poison it through the carapace I did so oh Saz is doing nothing so let's just go on about killing the thing we're pretty much healthy. Scale Beast. While in Carapace... Yeah. He's pretty much really tough. Oh my. Go for War and Peace. We need help up and running. If this thing undertakes any strong attacks, it will be lights out. We cannot allow that. 
Okay. Build the stagger up. Now he's going with his breath. It's not really a big deal. We'll get for medic while Saz is uh, keeping the monster busy. And then we will return straight away to magic attacks to destroy the last of the scale beast. You see, even the poison has disappeared already, so we'll have to redo all the tide turning skills out. Go for poison. Okay, now deprotect. Hmm. I feel like I need to do something about my deprotection. Probably that's the time to use the improved debuffing spell. That Belladonna Wand might help us to a great extent with that beast. Okay, some more. Well, that's not really a big deal, as you might see. The monster's still dead. So that's not really... It doesn't really mean much. Uh, <laughs> the result of my little test here doesn't really matter much if you attack the monster from the back, landing a preemptive attack or not. I can basically run around and attack the monster from the back. It's really easy, you see, because the monster doesn't really pay too much attention to what you're doing. Then turn the tide right away. Not really that tough, the monster is. And everything is being put on the monster really, really fast, I see, so... Doesn't really take too much effort. As soon as you finish off the debuffing, try to get the opportunity of attacking the monster right away. It regenerates the carapace, so as it was said, as it was said in the tutorial, just finish any healing as fast as you can and return to attacking. You will not kill me. I'm fully stocked on health. It's not going to be possible for you. Not in this life. We got it bought pretty much, so we can attack with magic. It doesn't really matter what magic exactly. We can do it. Okay. Keep it up, Saz. Probably will stop for another round. Okay, War and Peace. I know Saz will keep it busy. Now Slash and Burn. For some in particular reason, the stagger degenerates really quickly after the medical paradigm, so I don't really know for sure why this happens. I'll run with that. Saz didn't buff himself up, so... Okay. Slash and burn time. Now we can finish the monster with a second stagger. What? Really? Oh my god. It was about to kill me. I, I, didn't, I didn't think the monster could still use this shocking breath while being under stagger. But apparently it can. So be advised, it might be dangerous. Might be a bad idea to test that. But we're doing good so far. I I think just just because uh, it it was struck by pain, thanks to Saz's pistols, so that might have interrupted his attack, this terrible breath, and saved Vanille's life. So I should be really thankful to Vanille. Or otherwise, maybe it's just the fact that. 
this super attack is weakened while the monster is staggered. Maybe. Again, not that much sure. But that doesn't really make it all the difference. Oh yeah, target this, target this. Bye -bye. Best thing for Saz. Come on. And finish the job. Tougher than you thought, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, Vanilla's right. She's tougher than one can think. She has more health than Lightning does. That's, th that's the catch. You may see that. And you will see that another time. If you keep it up, watching me. <laughs> yeah, that's sure, that's right. I will definitely show you everything about this game that I can. Because that's my goal. I, I may not cope with that, but I will try with my maximum efficiency. That's a promise, ladies and gentlemen. I just love this game, so I will try to cover everything possible in it. I hope I'm doing good so far, but yeah, if I haven't covered anything, if you think that I am missing something, yeah, j just go ahead and post that in the comments. I wish to learn that. I wish to learn more if I am skipping something, if I'm doing something wrong. That's just, you know, personally important for me, anyway. And for uh, other potential viewers, too, because my goal is quality and efficiency, and I'm doing that not for... I'll just screw the likes, screw the... Screw everything. Just remember that Final Fantasy series on my channel is absolutely the work out of enthusiasm. And that's, and that's all. That's what I'm doing, so... It's just absolutely free of any concepts, but the game. A camera? When you need one. <laughs> camera. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what you have just said, Sass. Where's the camera when you need one? It's right above your head. It's following Vanille right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Surprise. Okay. Looks like our characters <sighs> got a little bit tired. You look tired. Yeah, he does. Not enough sleep? It's I not that easy, not Vanille, surprising. I think. Cute girl like me. It's hard to close your eyes, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, right you are. Oh, I'm just gonna yeah. lie down for a bit. <laughs> you see, not everybody is as cheerful as you are. You are really cute, and you're really nice and beautiful, but sometimes there are powers stronger than this. Not easy. I mean, look, even I'm kind of worried. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> Tell me about it. But even if we don't know what'll happen, we have to keep our dreams alive. Yep. Have something. The to gist of it. To. You know. So what is Next this? Up is Nautilus, city of dreams. Ah, the city of dreams. That's what they yep. call it. <laughs> kind of poetic. All right. Well then, the time has come for some fancy rest. Since Vanille is mentioning something to look forward to, what is it for Saz and Vanille? I haven't had. I haven't yet learned it. From the gameplay. What? I've been thinking throughout all this time that they don't really have the goal. That they are just running from the worst things. So, since Vanille is talking about something to look forward to, I basically would like to learn what it is, at least with her, if anything. So, before going onwards, I'm guessing we'll check out on this thing first. Hmm? You don't want to leave Saz behind? Oh yeah, he definitely doesn't. Now that you mentioned that. Good. 
I will now equip this Belladonna wand for improved debuffing. Because this is what awaits in the future. Tough battles with strong opponents, which I'd like to fight. I don't want to avoid anything. This is what I really want to do. Just for, you know, the self-improvement. Are you alright? You scared me. Oh, really? Wh why? What's up? And now she's sitting thinking. in the bushes, just like I suggested. <laughs> oh Don't my. blame yourself. You know, you can't control who a FLC picks for a focus. Oh, but my son Dodge. What? He was picked. Oh. His He's son was picked. Was made a sea just like us? You mean the pulse the sea? Or something? He said he wanted to see a foul sea. So, I took him to go on a tour of the Uriday Gorge plant. <laughs> Thought I'd surprise him with yeah. a little chick to take home, but the second I turned my back into the energy plant, he went. Oh, the Vanille was also there, I see. Dodge! Vanille's doing something near Dodge, and oh my god, he's got branded. And Vanille was here for some reason. Oh man! Hey, what's wrong, Dodge? They must have put him on the on this couch. I mean, Vanille and that lady that was around here. Okay. You're not hurt, are you? Well, kind of. What's that? And what do you think it is? Apparently, those post Lassie had snuck in and tried to attack the second. It's the Cocoon Lassie brand. It did the only thing it could and made Dodge Lassie to protect it. Oh, man. My son, he got picked by a Sanctum Falci. He's a hero. A hero? Pulse Lassie. Or a victim? Dodge's enemy. So oh yeah, no him. use right arguing with officials. Of then it was one test after another. Oh yeah, I Even guess so. Figure out his focus. Maybe it was look for Pulselessy. Maybe it was kill him. Kill the Pulselessy. By the way, a boy that young and small. How could a kid that young even stand a chance? Oh yeah, these foul sea are he merciless. Was Dodge had some way of sensing things from Pulse. Oh. He was the one who found the Pulse Foul C. But the kid can't fight. Oh, using so, that kid, they found the Foul C in the bottom. To <laughs> I figured his focus had to have something to do with destroying that Pulse Foul C. Oh, okay. Thought I could do it for him, and, well. Oh, this is why he decided on that one. If I was right about his focus, he's probably a crystal already. Of course, if he was supposed to take out that thing's Lassie. Oh. Then either we die, or he's a Seath. Die? That's really? bad news. <sighs> That's really bad news right now. It's a pickle, all right. <laughs> That's the trick, I'd rather say. The bird, the bird says no. The bird says no. I'd also say no, but if you if you really know that the foul sea can turn other people into the sea, like uh, what's the point in using those as landmarks? I'd better stay away from those, even if they're friendly, because that might turn in things like that. And and now Saz is a pulseless sea, and Dodge remains cocoonless sea, which makes them basically enemies, and not just enemies out of uh, government brainwashing policies, but out of the foul sea, because evidently the 
Pulse Falsy and Cocoon Falsy are fighting. That they are not on friendly terms. Judging by the war and everything. So, yeah. That might just be the trick. It's really a trick. Now, Saz. Now I understand why Saz has found himself in a really tight corner. And why is why he's keeping everything to himself. This is this is this is like an uh, There are no loose ends. What to do about this? I don't really have any idea. Alright. Whoa! What was that? Device that makes bad weather. Fancy that. Well, weather the weather, whatever the weather. Come out to play in the rain, did you? Oh, that might be some kind of frog leader. <laughs> Come on, go kiss the frog and that'll turn into a princess. <laughs> yeah, climate control orbs. These spheres modulate precipitation levels in the surrounding area. Certain indi uh, indigenous fauna inhabit rain-shy behavior taking cover during storms. However, including showers can re yeah, inducing showers will result in encounters with otherwise elusive hydrophobic wildlife. Okay. Okay. Not hydrophobic probably. They are rather cheered up by the high level of precipitation here. <laughs> but nevertheless, so we can use those Climate control spheres that were mentioned in the beginning of this chapter with the description of a uh, sun left waterscape area. That's really interesting. Let's check on this one. What are these froggies? This orange one is definitely one of the boss kind of frogs. Okay, okay. Let's focus it since we have started on it. Monsters. Okay, let, let's just... Let's just focus it down. What is it doing? It is like kind of dancing. Okay. <laughs> it's some kind of uh, waltzing around. Have we come to some kind of circus? Finish it. Okay. We're gonna finish the remainder of these. I remember killing those, so I think that orange frog guy summons these smaller ones. Which makes it worth it to kill the orange frog prior to the smaller species. Hmm, we got a lot of places to go. And there are lots of monsters everywhere around. Can I go to those? I wonder if I can. They're kind of dancing on these little islands. There is nothing of interest though, but... How do I get to those monsters? Should I need to? That's the question. Now if we regulate the weather, we might be able to control these nasty critters. Yeah, yeah, we might. Let's see if we can. I just finished the job. We got two of these guys. Let's focus them down individually. Okay. Mud Frog B. Not for long. You will die. Just because I say so. Nobody leaves the battlefield alive without my special say so. And this! Finished! We got some slash and burn, another mod frog. Oh man! Are you doing it for sure? Let's go for war and peace then! No deep protect on me, thanks very much! Okay. We have settled things. Now we can return to. The destruction of the mod frog. It's being really impudent. 
I didn't know those could deprotect us. You see how much damage I suddenly got when they deprotected me. This is really menacing. Okay. Oh, they tried to unleash another deprotective spell against us. Not a big success on that one, though. Finished. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. This deprotection actually did slightly discourage me, uh, like disorient me to a certain extent. I'm guessing the time has come to finish all the Crystarium business. Yeah. What about Medic? Everything is alright. And the row level taken. Medic fully charged. The same to be said about Ravager. So only Saboteur remains. And Quake? I will save Quake for the last. Got more magic. Alright, let's stop here. And for Saz, I promise to finish with Synergist first. Yep. Done 100%. So only Commando remains. And that's kind of follow up activities right now. I only have the Quake to worry about, and some more irrelevant nodes. He's really strong anyway, so... You see, I was a little bit worried during the previous chapter, but this time around, I don't really care all that much. Let's deal with that. This time around, the beast has the support. So I'd recommend you to destroy the support as soon as you can. These gremlins are not in place over here. Okay, just stick with uh, slash and burn for this round. Because you need to keep these keep this beast under fire. Okay, okay. This is going to be nice. Come on, come on, Vanille, don't waste the time! And now heal Saz. Heal him! What's the beastie doing? Come on, Saz. We need your pistols. We need those to keep the stagger up and going. Come on, it's about time it has unleashed the attack. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I just thought as much. You know what to do, Saz, while I'm healing you? Come on, Vanille, don't waste the time, it's precious. One more. Slash and burn. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. What are you what do you think you're doing, monster? You think you can withstand our assault? Okay, I'm guessing we will stagger the guy that this way, just this way. And turn the tide right now. The best bet is going to be the poison. Yeah, the poison in action. Now the deep protection. Right away. And D shell. I don't care. Slash and burn to the death. Yay! Death blow delivery. Whoa, yeah, lo looks like his uh, breath is... does less damage while under stagger, so... Oh, yeah. It has switched to me. It definitely has switched to me. Now I should care about what I'm doing. Come on, Saz, you can do it. You can unleash a couple more attacks. Okay, okay. Hey, right, keep that guy away from me. War and Peace. 
If it attacks me with its breath, I'm done. I won't have that happen. Your turn to die, monster. Dual casting. I just keep on doing the same thing. Just because. I probably will unleash the breath attack real soon because I just suspect it. I can't help it. Okay. Probably the next attack will be the shocking breath. We should be able to kill it before though. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, one down. Why? That was not deserved. Metal armband. All sorts of crap here. I don't really care. Oh well, yeah, you might use those, but I don't see much efficiency in those, so yep. Yeah, yeah. Rack, rack. <laughs> Let's focus the mod frogs anyway. It might be a nice thing to go for it, to go with. But what if I switch for Tide Turner? I just wanted to check that out. Let's poison the mod frogs. Actually, can I poison them? We only know that they call allies. Nothing said about there uh, being any immunity to any poison. Let's poison another mod frog. Come on, come on, Vanilla can pull this off. Yeah, I'm guessing that's more than enough. Let, oh, 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 oh. It might be tough. Might be just a little bit too tough. Switch for attack. We can't lose the opportunity. Just attack with area of attack damage. Oh, there's only, no, there are two mod frogs around. Come on, it is going to die, because I say so, and it, it is going to be done the way I say. Another mud frog. Already being down a great deal with that poison. Okay, I'm guessing the poison works out pretty well for me. And there's the only opponent left. Yeah, just brilliant. No, one star down still. All right, whatever. But I think that's the way to go still. It might be a nice idea to poison those mod frogs so that they don't last for long and die already. Because otherwise they will last for long and probably... Oh, the, and probably will summon a lot of those smaller siblings. Focus the gremlins while they are bunched up. And another attack. Yeah, we have done it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, tight turner, tight turner. We don't have much time, poison. I have forgotten that this thing is without any carapace right now, vulnerable to my attacks. Come on, deprotect now. Okay, deprotection done. And the D shell, I guess, too, will be enough. All the debuffs present, we can switch for attack. Full scale attack, it's like one fifth of its health down. Go for dual casting. Get some healing done as well. Oh, Saz barely keeping it together, but still alive. This is nice to know. <laughs> if I... Uh, if I hadn't put this tungsten bangle on him, it could have been worse. I'll tell you that much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, don't you dare attack me. Okay, let's heal ourselves. Although I do know that it has unleashed his fancy attack. 
not so long ago, so probably not really worth it healing all that eagerly, but nevertheless, healing is a good option because in the midst of all this, Haz has been shooting at the monster, keeping that stagger up. Okay, I'm guessing we're doing good. Nothing can save this monster right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> good, good job, Saz. Good job. Now he did interrupt his attack. Now Saz did stop the monster from landing a bad strike against me. Good job. Nicely done. I have always thought uh, just Vanille and Saz are making a nice team. I have always thought that way. And they basically... Don't deceive me. They don't disappoint me. At least so far. Okay, let's go for Tide Turner right away and poison all those mud frogs just for me to be able to. Yeah, mud frog one. Not po yeah, poisoned. Another mud frog must be poisoned as well. Poisoned, nice. And the third mod frog. Not poison. How comes? Get poison already. Do my beating. Oh yeah, it is poison. Okay, slash and burn. The time has come for these guys to die. Now under the effects of poison they will. Yeah, let's heal ourselves one round with Kyura. Finally, I have demonstrated its wonders to you. And we can generally just... A-O-E these frogs. One Saz. Don't waste your time. It's precious. Come on. I can basically just unleash these things at the frogs. This is going to be nice. And the poison is working well enough. You see, that other frog is halfway down. We'll prevent that from dancing. Saz did finish it. Yeah, he did. He pretty did. I'll finish the remainder of the frogs here. Yep. Doing good. Yeah, this time around this poison did help. Or maybe it didn't. Yeah, I definitely know that later in the game when your characters get leveled up, this poison action will be so efficient that it is going to act in your favor beyond measure. Let me quickly walk around this area first before doing anything. There are lots of things around here everywhere. And there are a lot of monsters. Well, clear them all out. Let us say I'll wipe them all from the face of this place. I just take on several monsters before anything bad happens. I just want to clear my path to the nearest save station. Because, yeah, I feel like I'm running out of time right now. But nevertheless, I will be returning to clear this area of all the monsters before marching onwards. Basically, that's what I want to do. It's not all. Not, it's not everything I've covered here so far, so... Be advised here, ladies and gentlemen. I will continue on. Yeah, this territory is basically... Oh yeah, the, the, there are four mud frogs. And there's a save station right there. I can see it from here already, so... Let me just run for it. Exactly. This is basically the last stage. Yeah, something smells fishy. 
What I smell is a brief break over here near the save station. And in the following episode, I will be clearing this area right away in the center of the map. Over here, probably I have left a couple things. And I also want to check on these climate control spheres. What monsters will pop up if I change the weather here. So, there is a lot of stuff going on in the following episode, and as soon as I deal with this little area, I will advance, so probably the next episode will bring about the fight with the boss of this chapter as well, which, if memory serves, comes right after the save station. So, yeah, get ready for a lot of action in the following episode, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of revelation also is about to come because yeah a lot of tactical advice on various monsters that i will give to you right as soon as the following episode starts so that's a lot of promises i'm making so far that means i have to say goodbye for now signing out i will see you next time